Welcome back to Ring Fit Adventure. Today we're going to look at the bow pull movement, a highly requested fit skill in the game for me to cover. We're going to do proper queuing, potential progressions and regressions, as well as looking at other moves that can help you with bow pull. It's all about synergy, Lemon. Bow pull is one of the more unique movements in Ring Fit Adventure owing to its stance being pretty different to others and with it being an actual resistive pulling move. There are surprisingly few pull moves in Ring Fit, especially among the fit skills. In adventure mode, bow pull hits 5 spots at a time with decent damage at level 2 and 3, and it is one of the moves that has a go faster section for each side too. The move targets rear deltoids and the latissimus dorsi, along with some work from the triceps, serratus muscles and the core for stability, which is excellent. Again, not a lot of moves target the lats as well as this does in ring fit, so it's definitely one to bring into your training routine. However, the queuing in the game is actually kinda sketchy and doesn't explain the form all too well, so that's why I'm doing this. Let's have a little look at the movement mechanics for it and make sure you're performing bow pull properly. Alright, bow pull. Make sure that your feet are shoulder width apart as mine are, nice little flex in the knees so you're not locked out. Now bring up the ring in front of you. Now at all times during the bow pull, we wanna make sure that the buttons of the Joy-Con are pointing in towards you, towards the midline, okay? So up, now we're gonna turn it, and I bring it to the side. So from here, we got one hand on each grip, and we wanna make sure, as you can see, that your elbows are in line with your shoulders. So they are nice and, you know, Nice, good position there. Okay, we don't want it to drop at any point. We don't want it to go over. We don't want it to, we want to make sure you're in a nice parallel line at all times, parallel to the ground. So from here, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna bend forward so that you can see the arm position a bit better. So we're starting out here, right? Now the front arm isn't gonna to move too much when we pull. It's more of the back arm, okay? So angling the elbow, we're pulling back like that. Okay, there's not much movement in that front arm. It's more from the back, you're pulling back. Like an archer, a bang. <laughs> there we go, it flies off. Obviously don't let it go. So, we go from here. We've got a slight twist at the hip as well, so that's slightly angled towards the side. And we draw back, and we release. We draw back, and we release. And that is exactly the same for the other side. So. So the other side, out in front, pull, okay? So we want nice straight arms, nice straight arms, pull, okay? Very good, very good. That's the bow pull essentially. Uh, there's not too much more to it. It does activate the lats when you're doing it properly. You'll feel the lats on the side that you are working. So if you're pulling with this arm, you're gonna feel it just here. You're pulling with this arm, you can feel it just here. Beautiful. So regressions, regressions for the bow pull is actually pretty simple. You can just pull it out like that. You can just do a ring pull and that's still gonna activate, okay? So if you are really struggling with the arm position or you think it's hurting your shoulders, try doing it from there. Now, I'm gonna squat down for this because I'm not gonna be able, if I do that, it goes off the camera. I'm gonna squat down for this but you can also do an overhead ring pull like you do in the adventure mode. You can do that as well. Um, in fact, if you wanted to really create a progression there, you could squat and do it as well. You could squat and do that. Now that's gonna create a lot of extra tension on your legs and your core. So that's a decent little progression there as well. Sounds good. We're not gonna add any weight or any resistance bands or anything like that. It's already a challenging enough exercise as it is. Sweet, let's do this. Another progression I came up with just after filming was adding something like a BOSU ball under your feet to create additional instability. There are a few skills that we can train to assist with bow pull. Front press uses the opposing muscles, which are always good to train, as well as overhead bend and warrior three, which can assist with upper body stability, giving you a stronger pull, as it also helps with stabilizing the trapezius and rhomboids, which are important for the neck during bow pull. And that's the move that is bow pull. I know in my recent arm skills video I ranked it relatively low, but that's more to do with the queuing than the move itself. I think this is a really cool energy intensive movement that helps with training a lot and hits some of the lesser used muscles in ring fit. So are you adding bow pull into your roster? What fit skills would you like me to cover next? Let me know in the comments and as always, please like, share and subscribe for more ring fit content incoming. Thank you so much for your time today. I've been Master Trainer Peter and I'll see you soon.